Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Henny, want to give you an update on uh, what we're going to see for the rest of tonight and then into tomorrow and then our next little system because we have this system that is rotating through right now. Uh, and then we got another little wave that is going to rotate in after that. I'm not feeling the best today, so I'm actually off work. So make sure you check in with Sam Lane. Uh, he's going to have the latest at 9 and 10 on KOAM News. Plus, you can always catch us on the KOAM uh, Skywatch weather app. And then, of course, uh, on uh, Roku on our KOAM Plus app. Plus, I want to give a huge shout out to my guys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're family owned. They're local, 7th and High Street in Joplin. They did my roof uh, a couple months ago, and their number's right there on the screen. All right, let's see what's going on. Take a look outside. You can see all the rain. We've had just periods of rain throughout the daytime hours today. We've had a little bit of flooding uh, with the heavier amounts of rain once you get down toward Barry County and then also toward Branson. Uh, Berryville, Harrison, Arkansas. So those areas have picked up a little bit heavier rain. You can see uh, some pretty good rain going on across southeastern parts of Missouri. And then on the back side of this system, look at the snow, which is starting to kick in out across central parts of Oklahoma. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We'll do a little bit of a tour. Pretty good showers, a few embedded little thunderstorms. So this is Mount Vernon, Monette over toward Cassville. We can go a little bit farther toward the east. Uh, pretty good showers and thunderstorms. Harrison, Mountain Home, Marshall, all the way down toward Little Rock. You can even see a severe thunderstorm warning in the Jonesboro uh, DMA. So this is out across the extreme northeastern parts of Arkansas and then into the boot heel of Missouri. And then we got showers. We got thunderstorms from Cape Girardeau. Let's go into northern parts of Missouri. Kansas City's had on and off showers throughout the day. Uh, these are fairly light, St. Joe, but look at the rain, which is picking up back toward the west, Topeka, Emporia, uh, just to the west of Chanute. So this is a pretty good band that is going to rotate through. This goes all the way down toward Bartlesville, also Tulsa. And then look at this, where the colder air is filtering in. This is a moderate to heavy snow on the west side of the Oklahoma City metro, uh, just west of Norman, uh, so, I mean, this is a pretty good band. Um, most of our temperatures, even though really this entire region is kind of sitting into the 30s to lower 40s, we are going to see some bands of snow on this backside, but uh, the ground is warmer. And I think if there are any accumulations, they're mainly only going to be on the grassy surfaces. This is going to be a little bit shorter of a video just because I'm not feeling very well today but i wanted to take a look at this and then we're gonna let's go down the road with our next little system as well which is going to start to rotate in as we head into tomorrow night all right let's go through tonight look at this back comma head so it rotates out of oklahoma look at the blue so some snow mixing in southeastern kansas maybe a little bit of snow mixing in in joplin pittsburgh all the way up toward kansas city if there were any accumulations in southeastern kansas for us late tonight, it would only be on the grassy surfaces and we're talking a half inch or less. Now, once you get up toward Kansas City, um, there may be, if we can get a band or two that kind of, you know, really comes together, even though temperatures are going to be 34, 35, 36 degrees, we, there could be areas that pick up a quick inch on the grassy surfaces. So we're going to watch that. And then I think the better chances for accumulating snow is going to be up across the north central parts of Missouri. So once you get up toward Chillicothe, Kurtzville, Macon, those areas could pick up one, maybe upwards to two inches of snow. All right, so this system rotates out. So by morning, a little bit of sunshine in the morning hours, clouds filter back in during the afternoon. Kansas City, a high temp about 45, 50 in Joplin, 52 in Tulsa, Oak City about 50 degrees. Now, we have this back wave, which is going to slide in, but this front wave, this, this storm system on top of us right now is kind of robbing all of the moisture. Now, this is actually the storm system that gave us the big Arctic outbreak uh, right before Christmas and also gave us, uh, at least in the Joplin metro, about two or three inches of snow. This time around, uh, because we have a positive Arctic oscillation instead of a negative Arctic oscillation. We're not getting the Arctic air, but we are definitely going to cool down behind this storm system. We need to watch this as we get into tomorrow night because if there can be a band or two that can kind of come together, we could see some accumulations from this. So let's keep going through time. So here's 1.30 in the morning. 
Let's go to about 6.30 Friday morning, Springfield over toward Branson, Joplin, southeastern Kansas, some light snow. Again, temperatures kind of hovering right around that freezing mark. And then you can see some bands of light snow continue through Friday morning. And then all this will kind of rotate out of here once we get into Friday afternoon. If there were any accumulations tomorrow night with this system, it looks to be under an inch mainly on the grassy surfaces. But something we want to watch as we go into uh, tonight with some bands of light snow and then again tomorrow night um, into uh, Friday morning. So that's what we're going to watch over the next couple days. I'll be back in tomorrow. We'll do another uh, Savant's video in the morning tomorrow and uh, we'll kind of go in. There's a couple systems next week that we need to keep our eyes on as well. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Wednesday and of course have a great evening. We will chat soon.